Hi everybody, it's me Susie. Um, I'm just going to get right to the point. Everybody, wake up out there. Get your head out of the sand. Things are about to break out all over the world. War is on the horizon, really, very, very seriously. There's a channel I'm going to leave in the description box with a link to this video from a, a CIA guy who's predicting, and this is a week old, this video from six days ago, that there's supposed to be war in Korea in three weeks, so that means about two weeks. Um, if he's right on what he's saying, and besides what he said, um, Bible prophecy is <laughs> is breaking out all over the place as well. It's it's happening. The things that we're told in the Word of God that are would be happening in these very last days, when we see these things begin to come to pass, we are to look up and know our redemption draws nigh. Well. You better hope that you're saved, born again in Jesus Christ. You cannot, if you, the mercy of God and his goodness has been poured out all over this world for 2,000 years. Have you accepted his mercy and his grace yet? It's by his son, Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ alone can save you from what is coming, from the, from the dangers of this world, where God will allow all evil to prevail over this world and 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 there'll be few that will be able to find the truth but many many will be killed and many will just be lost for all of eternity and be damned to hell god's wrath is nothing you want to mess with the wrath of god is getting ready to be poured out on this world through wars uh, destruction everywhere through earthquakes famines pestilences just as it is written in the word of god there's no way there's no way you can avoid what's coming by you turning your head turn, and looking the other direction is not going to make it not happen. It's not going to bring you peace in your life. It's not going to give you anything to hope for. You're just going to feel this heaviness and this knowing that you're running from something. That something is Jesus. That someone is Jesus, Jesus Christ and what he did to save you from what is coming is what you need right now. You have to hear this. Quit hiding yourself from the truth. Get your head out of the sand. Jesus is coming. You accept and believe that that's true, and then you can go on in the name of Jesus by his will to be done. And whatever it else, whatever else it is you're trying to accomplish or do in this life. But you must stop and, and, and listen to me right now. The word of God is true. The word of God is, is tugging at your heart. If you've got a Bible in your house, you know that that, word, that Bible is speaking to you to open it up. And I hope it's the King James Bible. I really hope you understand that that is the only one true Bible. There's too many versions of the Bible out there. That's another sign of the times, the falling away, that people are just thinking that it's okay to trust in any other Bible. They're not Bibles if it's not the truth. There's only one truth. God preserved his truth in that one true word of God, the King James Bible. And I'm going to leave you an, an in-depth study for about, it's a, about a 35-minute video. I'm going to leave that in the description box. And thank you to Brother Mike, Man of God, for posting that video. And another brother in Christ who shared it with me. Um, also today and uh, we need to we need to get this move going Jesus is coming war is coming right after <clears throat> you don't want to be stuck here in the war you don't want to be here much longer things are about to change I'm trying to talk to people personally in my life just like the rest of you the people of the world they're out there and they're out there they're out there like with a gun to their head because they're not understanding by them not accepting Jesus right now at this moment. It's just, just like playing, what is that game, Russian roulette on your own life. And it's only a matter of time before that, that bullet is discharged and you're left here to suffer and die in what's coming. I'm not kidding. This isn't something to mess with everybody. Jesus warned us of this, and then those of us who have been and taking heed and opening our eyes to see the truth and hear what he has to say are the ones trying to warn you because, you know what, think about this. All of us who are here doing this, sharing the truth through YouTube or uh, preaching on the streets even, we were chosen to be here for such a time as this to, to proclaim the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, or he wouldn't have put us here in this time. 
We were all chosen for such a, a time as this, those of us who are here. Whether you're on the receiving end of the truth that you're ignoring it, or whether you're the one out there delivering the truth and obeying God and trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody's playing a part somewhere in this end times. And um, I pray that you are on the, the safe side of it all where you call on Jesus and you have surrendered your life to him. Because there's a day coming really soon where the Antichrist will be on the scene after the rapture, of course, that you will have missed. If you don't trust in him now, that day is coming where because you didn't surrender to Jesus, you're going to be told you need to surrender to that false god, the Antichrist. He's going to require you to take a, a mark in your right hand or in your forehead and to bow down to him and worship him. And if you don't, you will not have any way to have any way of uh, the money is going to be done with. So that's going to be your only way to buy or sell anything, to receive a paycheck, whether even, who knows if real jobs will exist anymore. And once this war happens, the whole world's going to be a mess. <sighs> Jesus is coming. Jesus so told us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. The time of grace has been existing since Jesus died on the cross for our sins and was risen again three days later. And then he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. And whenever one of his children comes to repent and calls on his name, the angels in heaven are rejoicing before God over just one sinner that repents. Jesus is knocking at your heart right now to let him in. He sees the danger ahead. He's warning you. He's trying to save you from it. This is a warning to you. In fact, I know, uh, you know, the people that know us personally are not willing, willing to receive the truth from, from their family or friends. That no one grew up with us and seen us, you know, before we've been called to start proclaiming the truth. Evangelizing is the word that they don't want to hear. But that's the truth. We are told to, to go out and, and share the, the word. Um, and then there are many, there are people out there who are actually seeing the love and the light of Jesus shining through us. I know it because I'm experiencing, experiencing many people who are being, um, curious, let's say, as to things I have to share with them. Um, like if they're hurting and, and I offer prayer, not much more after that, they're coming to me with more concerns and asking me questions or sharing their feelings about things and um, it's because God has said something on their hearts that what we're saying is true it's not me it's the Holy Spirit within me the power of God Jesus Christ living in me who is God the Son of God Jesus Christ is coming to take his people home, those who trust and believe in him and are born again. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God. Jesus said that. Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of this world, said, Verily, verily, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, verse 3. Jesus Christ said, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever shall believeth in him, Jesus, shall not perish, go to hell, but have everlasting life. In Christ you will have life. John 3, 17 says, for God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, through Jesus, might be saved. <clears throat> now I implore you, this has nothing to do with you obeying Susie. It's I implore you and I beg of you to obey God and call on his Son Jesus and trust in his Son Jesus. Trust in the Lord, 
Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. I may have said that with all your heart, with all your heart. And I added soul and mind. It could be a little bit off on the, on the picture. But anyway, you need to trust in Jesus, okay? Don't trust in me. I challenge you. I challenge you. When you turn this video off, when this video ends, feel free to question Jesus himself. Feel free to ask him if it's true about these wars that are coming. Feel free to ask him to reveal anything you are seeking to find out. Things like the wars coming by the CIA man who's warning us. Things like, is Jesus real? Is there some truth to this still small voice people are saying they hear? And does Jesus really love me? Ask him who he is. Ask him if there's truth to what that cross represents. That he is the way, the truth, and the life who suffered and died for our sins, for the sins of all the world, so that we may have life and life more abundantly. Jesus will answer you, and you'll know it's from him when you get your confirmation, when you get something put before you that shocks you, or that surprises you, or that gives you the chills, or that someone says to you, they may have sent a messenger to deliver to you, maybe something I'm saying in this video, or maybe something that someone at work is going to say to you. Or someone up on the street. Maybe God will send an angel to speak to you in the form of man. But Jesus is real. He is the only truth. He is our only hope. I come to you and I, I testify that without Jesus I'd have no hope. None. My life has been a shambles. My life has been... I don't know if that's the right word. My life has been a tangled up mess for many years. But no one would really know that by the way I live my life sometimes. I still have joy. After all I've been through, I still have joy. I still have peace. I still trust him through all the things that he carries me through. He carries me through because I trust him. He loves me. I know he does. He shows me every day. And he'll do that for you, too. I've been a rotten sinner. I've done things I'm so ashamed of. But there is no condemnation in Christ, the Bible says. Jesus forgave me of my sins, and he'll forgive you of yours. And they will be remembered no more. They'll be forgiven and forgotten as far as the east is from the west, he tells us. Now that will be you when you call on his name to be saved. And I ask you, please, profess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, as we are told in the Bible. Believe in your heart that he died on the cross for your sins. And then that three days later, God rose him from the dead. Believe and trust in him with all your heart. With all your heart, don't doubt him. And by faith, we are saved. It takes faith to believe what we cannot see, as it says in Hebrews. What is it? Faith is, is believing what we cannot see? Have faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. And God can move mountains. Have faith in Jesus. Trust in him. You need him. War is going to happen. And it's going to happen very quickly and very soon. Without warning, it will strike this nation. It will strike the United States of America soon. We know this because it is written, because the Word of God says so. It doesn't say United States of America specifically. The Bible says that anyone who cuts, who separates my land, I will cut in pieces, God said. Well, 
we are supporting the two-state solution, the United States of America. And not only that, the United States of America has been also allowing all of this evil, demonic, ungodliness to appear all over the land. Blasphemous. The abominations that are against the word of God are all over the once great United States of America. America, your days are numbered. Jesus Christ is Lord. I pray for those of you out there who don't know him in this country. You drop to your knees, please. I'm saying this with a righteous anger for the evil that has been overtaking this world, and especially this country. Shame on you out there who don't take a stand. And those of you who have been struggling with what to do, how to find truth, and why you don't feel any hope at all, it is because you need Jesus, and you need him right now, and you will have hope once again. And our blessed hope is soon to happen, which is the glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, the word of God is true, the word of God is final. There's no one who can change what has been written. God has preserved every single word in that true Holy Bible. I'm going to leave another link in the description box. I guess if I said that or not yet, I don't know. Two links below. Really take the time to watch them both. Less than an hour, you will have a lot of, a lot of wisdom. God tells us in his word, many of my people perish for lack of knowledge. So if you want to just turn your head and bury it in the sand, <clears throat> hoping that the truth will go away, if you just don't pay attention, no, you will go away to the lake of fire for all of eternity because you chose to bury your head in the sand. Wake up. Wake up. Jesus is coming. The truth is going to hit you hard if you don't. I'm praying for you. Feel free to leave me a link. I'm sorry, I'll leave a message below if you need prayer. I'd be happy to pray with you. God bless you in Jesus' name.